Hello friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show a demo on how to load all text and CSV files in a particular folder into one table in a CS. So I have already made one video on how to load multiple text files and multiple CSV files and multiple Excel files using for each web container and in a CS. So in the same way, uh, we will load uh, both TXT and CSV files into the same folder same for table so this is my target folder and here i have contained one csv file and two text files in subfolder also we have one text file and one csv file so data in this term, in these files are in same schema and the same same number of columns id name gender and country so both this table uh, all together the data there is 11 records there in that um, in all these five uh, five files that means three text files and two csv files and compare the um, database table this is my person table it also contains id name gender and country no now i want to load data from both these all these from different um, Three text files and two, two CSV files into this uh, person person TP. So for that I am creating a new package. <coughs> so here first I am creating the variables. And here I am taking one folder path. Is string. So if you go and check the folder path, I am taking this path and paste it in the value field and, and put it back slash. So closing this now, I am dragging the for each loop container. For each loop container, configure double click. And go to collection. Here we need to take for each file in numerator, and here expression I am taking. Expression here in this case we need to take the directory. So from in directory we give the path of the folder. We already created variable folder path. I uh, this variable I am I am dragging in the expression field and evaluate if you get the same value. So whenever the uh, package is running, it will it will pay it will it will come and check the uh, check the folder if any files are there or not. For this for that sake, I am creating the folder variable folder path. And I I, I need to map this. To the directory property. So this is a directory. Folder path is nothing but directory. Next, I am going to take one more variable here. New variable. This is for file name. File name and string data type. It is, a, it is mapping with a zero index. Starting. Now here it is important. If you want to load any particular CSV file and text file, just you need to get star.csv or star.txt or star.xlsx for Excel file. In this case, it is very clear the path is uh, the path is showing CSV and text files. So I am taking star dot star star dot star. I am using the, I am checking this Travis subfolder so checkbox. When you um, check this checkbox, it will search for any subfolder and there it find if, if any files, there these files are not getting loaded. So I am, uh, I opted for the check this subfolder so, and I am mapping. So click configuration and done. Now I am dragging the data flow into the Inside the for each container, double click. Now 
I have taken the flat file source to configure. Double click and go to new and browse. So in browse here I need to take all files. I am taking any one of file, either text or CSV. It doesn't matter. I am taking one file, file name, person and I am going changing if any data type here I change it to 4 by 10 integer and compatibility with my SQL table and searching for length of the columns here name 50 gender 10 and country 50 so name 50 it's ok gender and changing it to 10 country is 50 so ok columns same columns <coughs> now I am dragging the while loop destination while loop destination and connecting with flat file source now I am taking the connection manager Server is my admin and sample is my database. Okay, so I am selecting the table from here, person underscore TBL. And if you, if you go for mappings, no need to do any manual mapping. Data types also same. So configuration has done successfully for volume destination as well. Now for final step, I am need to take the taking the expression. So in the earlier expressions at the time of configuration of the for each loop container, we will take um, the directory part, directory property and uh, write the expression. Here the property we need to take here is the connection string. In the connection string, we already gave the form folder path uh, variable expression. So I am using the file name property and evaluate. So obviously we need not get any value here even after, even after I evaluate the expression because at the time of the running it will iterate the files from this particular path. So I am closing it and ok now everything is set so I am able to run the package now. Once again make sure there is no data in the percent table now and uh, I am running the package yeah. so uh, as I mentioned earlier it, it also picked the subfolders I, I already told the 11 records from it contains from all these files 11 records take you see here if you cross check the data and count the number of files in first file it is three records person 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 one under one file it is five records and person two file three to five and here one more two it is seven records <coughs> And here uh, in subfolder there is person's csv file in this file there are just two records 7 plus uh, 2 is 9 and you go to target and check this person's csv again the same file i copied there in subfolder as well same records it take here to level so total 11 records are getting loaded in this table once again, I am explaining the package. First, you create the variable with folder name and take the value, and afterwards, drag in the for each loop container. To configure for each loop container, just double click and select the for each file enumerator. And it, um, here it is very important. Instead of um, uh, start csv and start uh, text, you, you take start dot star. It will, it will pick all folders from the above path. The folders that are exist in the folder 
in the the files the files that are registered in the folder is just csv and text files so for that sake i am using the standard star i am using the fully qualified and if you want to load some files from the subfolders as well you will just click the check box and go to variable mappings and create one more variable file name and, and give it value as the index and final step and uh, afterwards you have to configure the data flow task as usual and the final, final step this is very important at the time of the writing of the expressions here you need to uh, write the uh, take the connection string property and write the drag the expression expression value as file name and evaluate it doesn't give any value even though it will take the file names every time it will iterate through the file name variable from the folder at the time of the running of the package so this is how you know to load all files all text and csv files in the folder into the one table thanks for watching the video thank you very much